Hello students, here I am going to solve one of the important uh, the communication systems question uh, which is given in gate 2015 for 2 marks. And this question is about finding complex envelope. Okay, So here complex envelope of the given bandpass signal. So here a signal is given uh, xt equals minus root 2 sin pi t upon phi uh, divided by pi t upon phi sin pi t minus phi by 4. And uh, this bandpass signal he mentioned as centered about f equals to 1 by 2. Okay. Yes. So if you have, let me give you one formula. If you have a bandpass signal x of t, which is centered at fc, which is centered at fc, fc hertz, then um, first you have to write that bandpass signal, okay, in terms of um, the in phase component and quadrature component. As a combination of cos and sine terms, we have to write first, like xt is equals to xet cos 2 pi fct minus xqt sine 2 pi fct. So, if you have a bandpass signal which is centered at fc hertz, okay. Then first you have to write that bandpass signal in terms of its in-phase component and quadrature component. Yes, the coefficient of this cosine term will be called as its in-phase component. The coefficient of the sine term will be called as its quadrature component. The in-phase component you can write as x i t. Okay, fine. Then um, if you manage to write the bandpass signal in this form, then I can say the complex. envelope of xt i am denoting with s c e of t is equals to this is x i t plus j x q t okay so to find the complex envelope uh, we have to know what will be the in-phase component and quadrature component of the given bandpass signal and from that in-phase and quadrature components yes we can write the uh, given uh, then we can write the complex envelope of the given bandpass signal okay so one thing um, so if you manage to write your bandpass signal in terms of its in-phase and quadrature components then this in-phase component and quadrature component definitely will be low pass signals only you can understand low pass signals so this complex envelope what you see it is also going to be the low pass signal only so we can understand this complex envelope as the low pass equivalent of the given bandpass signal you can understand like that okay and if at all this is plus then this is minus complex envelope okay so first let's write this given bandpass signal in terms of its in phase component and quadrature component i'm going to write okay so for this, first expand it sin a minus b. Yo, this is this is the sine term which is centered at fc. So this uh, this one by two hertz half hertz. What you see, I'm seeing this as fc. Okay. So it, what is the frequency of this? This is one by two hertz only. Sine pi t means sine pi t means you can write this as sine. This is. 2 pi times 2 1 by 2 t minus 5 of 4 you can write so compare this 2 to cancel that is sine pi t only so it is a sine term centered at okay half hertz sine you can compare with sine 2 pi f c t so where f c is half hertz it is a sine term centered at f c hertz centered at 1 by 2 half hertz okay yes so first try to expand it and I'm going to write in, in, in this form as, as a combination of sine and cos terms I'm going to write. It's from expansion you will get that. Okay. So this is minus root 2. So sine pi x by pi x will be sinc x only. It is better. Okay. I'm writing in compact form sine pi x upon pi x is sinc x. So it is I'm writing this as sinc. Okay think t by phi you can write this is sin pi x by pi x is equal to think x okay 
So this is sync t by phi you can write. Yes, fine. Now sin a minus b, sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. So this is sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. Okay, sin a cos b minus cos a sin b. And if you see all the options, okay, you can check all the options in the form of e power j pi by 4. Okay, so to write in that form, okay, to get in that form, so yes. If you multiply this with um, uh, minus root to sink t upon 5, if you multiply with that, so minus minus will become plus, minus minus will become plus. So it is root 2, this is sin yeah so root 2 think t by phi and this is sin phi by 4 yes and pi by 4 is 1 by root 2 of course and this is cos i'm writing this is 2 pi fct okay this is cos pi t i'm writing as this cos 2 pi fct where fc is half hertz okay yes and what about first term here minus root 2 is a sink t by phi and this is cos pi by 4 and this is sine I'm writing this as yeah sine 2 pi fct so where fc is equal to half hertz fc is half hertz so it is a band per signal centered at okay, half hertz this is now it is in the form of yes this is x e in phase component x i t cos 2 pi f c t minus this is x q t sin 2 pi f c t x i t cos 2 pi f c t minus x q t sin 2 pi f c t then what will be the complex envelope is complex envelope will be this is x i t this x i t cos 2 pi f c t minus x q t sin 2 pi f c t the complex envelope is x i t plus j x q t so if you substitute here so root 2 think this is t by phi sin phi by 4 plus okay and plus j yeah root 2 think t by phi this is okay cross phi by 4 yes and if you take this root 2 sink t by phi common this is yeah i'm taking this root to sink common so what we left with so we left with this is sine phi by 4 plus j cos phi by 4 okay so to write in this form to match with the given options e power j pi by 4 that is cos pi by 4 plus j sine pi by 4 and e power j x cos x plus i sin x you can write cos x plus j sin x so to write this as complex exponential function this j term should be associated with the sign okay so j should be associated with the sign so for that i will multiply and divide with j here okay so yeah so if I multiply with j here, this is j root 
to think t by 5 and divide with j here i'm multiplying with j and dividing with j so 1 upon j will be minus j only this is okay if you divide with j here this is cos pi by 4 only you will get so I, I multiply with j and dividing with j so 1 upon j will be minus j and j j will be cancelled so this is now cos x minus i sin x this is j root 2 think t by 5 it is cos x minus i sin x it is e power minus j x only okay so it is cos x minus j sin x it is e power minus j x only and e power minus j x it is cos x minus j sin x okay so e power minus j pi by 4 yes to match with the given options this is j root 2 sync t upon 5 sync x is sine pi x by pi x now this is sine pi t by 5 upon pi t by 5 this is into e power minus j pi by 4 this is and which option is getting matched here this is the complex envelope of the given band pass signal okay so actually uh, you have to understand something what that is the options which is given here so some mistake in the given options actually okay so the option d is going to be correct only but it should be multiplied with j actually okay so so some mistake here in the given options okay so it is a mistake from the examiner side only okay so here j term should be associated here j term should be associated okay so this is actually going to be the correct answer it should be j root 2 okay so i have to check with the given options so the actual gate paper we have to check once okay um, it should be j root 2 if at all it is given as a root 2 times 2 then definitely mistake in the given options you can understand the correct answer is going to be this one only so it is j root 2 sine pi t by pi upon pi t by pi into e power minus j pi by 4 so it will be the correct answer so it is how you can find complex envelope whenever the question is about finding complex envelope of a band pass signal so first try to write the given signal in this form try to write the signal in this form okay so in terms of its in-phase and quadrature components once you manage to write in terms of in-phase and quadrature components and from that in-phase and quadrature components you can find the complex envelope by using this formula okay thank you